Hi, I'm Jonathan Ng, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to crush the construction industry today with Omnisite. So Omnisite is, a, is in the construction industry which is worth $17 trillion. But productivity in this industry has fallen over the years, whereas everything else has risen, double and triple actually. Why? Because 63% of direct labor time is spent waiting. For a $100 million project, delays cost 100 k a day. That's a very painful problem to have, delays. We spoke to Mr. Ong, he's a head con contractor at Shimizu Corporation, and his average uh, contract value of his contract is 100 million. And he manages 1,000 workers, so he knows this problem very well. So he said, I know I'm losing money every day due to poor worker allocation, but I don't know where and when it's happening. That's a very scary problem. So we asked him, why is it that workers are always waiting? And he said they're waiting for materials, equipment, transport, the weather. Then he said the last one, new instructions. They realized, ah, there's something that is in his control. So we want to help with that. The root cause at the end of the day is infrequent checks on completed tasks of workers by the supervisors, and inconsistency for the same reason in ensuring workers are executing on tasks. And in reality, they only check eight times a day. What we do on this site, we check 80 times a day. What it really does is real-time allocation of tasks to ensure execution. So what does the user have to do? Mr. Ong or his supervisor will just input and assign tasks for the day, just like in Trello, very simple. He gets to see this view of the whole work job site and to see what's going on, who's working, who's not working. And then he receives prompts that just ask him, would you like to move unproductive workers in site A to site B? And then you can say, here's the impact of the decision, 30% quicker task completion. He says, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and gets things done. Amazing. You can see everything is green now. The question is, how do we do it? Well, we capture and track the job site using our hardware solution. It's a hardware plus software solution. We put this, these uh, our phones that are third generation into the safety vests of every worker. And as they go about their day, we have all these images that we can combine into a working 3D model of the workplace. This in itself is very valuable for a worker, for a contractor. But we go beyond that. We let them see some insights into what, how many available workers they have and who is working where. But what's more important than that is to see who is working on what. So we can check the worker's task execution because we can use activity recognition to see, hey, he's, he's installing a switch board, he's doing work. You can see what the task is supposed to do and what's the completion of this task. And finally, we have the insightful view. You can see, we do this for every worker. You can see who is doing what and where are the risk areas. So it's not, it's not good just to know where the risk areas. You want to know what to do. So we recommend new instructions that, as you see it earlier, it's just a prompt. Yes or no. The decision is still made by humans at the end of the day because of liability issues. Here's a nice side effect. We have documentation and therefore accountability because we know who is doing what, when, where, and what do they do. Now we have our first customer, Mr. Ong. We went back and pitched this back to him and he said, if you can really make this, I will invest immediately. I want to use a service. So other people are doing this, but they're not doing the whole chain that we are doing. They're doing individual parts of the process. But Mr. Ong said, I don't want to manage so many software. I want to have an end-to-end -end solution. And the most important thing we do is we provide the insight, the, the smart recommendations. So pricing strategy is a software plus hardware thing. So we charge $20,000 a month per 1,000 workers. Just for reference, they, they, the budget for supervisors, it takes 67 of them, is 200,000 a month. So we just charge 10 times, 10, 10 times less than that. So by comparison, we do 80,000 checks a day. If they were to hire supervisors to do that, it would cost 30 million. But we cost 20,000. The market size is 20,000 contractors, but what we can really do is 20 contractors that are immediately available to us. The future roadmap is a pilot run with Shimizu, with Mr. Ong helping us to get the deal, and then we'll do it for Sato Kogyo, which is a bigger construction company, and then we want to go abroad. The team has everything from engineering to AI to business, so we can get things done. And the real inspiration at the end of the day was, when you heard all this, you want to know like, what they're doing, what's the weather, what's happening, is it, oh, it's like a real-time strategy game. He wants to play Age of Empires in real life. And I think we've done that for him. So future applications are industries with lots of people, factories and manufacturing. We are looking for funding, so let's work together and make construction better.